All right, thank you very much. And uh, now we have two more startups pitching before it's uh, time for lunch. Uh, so hang in there. Uh, to the stage now, we'd like to welcome a Danish Israeli startup. Still an office in Berlin? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, give a hand for Fermo. Hi everybody, I hope you're having as much fun as me listening to all the different projects. We also have an office in the FinTech lab, so it's fun to hear what the neighbors are doing. But my name is Annalisa, and I'm part of the team at Firmo, and I'm going to talk to you about how we're building financial infrastructure for the crypto economy. But before we do that, I'd like to go back in time to 1616 Dojima, Japan. Back then, things were different, and rice was everything. Not only was it how you fed your family, it's also how you got your salary and how you got paid. But there was a problem with rice. Not only was it very hard to store and it was hard to move around, it was also volatile because the price depended on the harvest. And it was back in Dojima that we saw the emergence of the first derivatives market with future and forward contracts being made. Fast forward to today, and the derivatives market is 10 times the global GDP traded in volume. That's approximately $1.2 quadrillion. At the same time, we've seen the emergence of the crypto economy, which is opening up all new opportunities, and the derivatives market has not totally entered it yet. So while we can't quite identify the size of the market potential, we believe that it will be similar to what we see in the traditional world today, and it will be a similar cornerstone of the economy as we know it. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with the blockchain and have heard about its potential and what it can do. And you may also have heard about smart contracts, which are enabling assets of all different kinds of value to be traded and moved around on the blockchain. But you might not know that there's a problem with that. Researchers have found that 45% of the smart contracts currently deployed on Ethereum, which is one of the main blockchains out there today, currently have vulnerabilities in them. And these vulnerabilities are similar to what we saw with the DAO in the parity wallet hacks, where hundreds of millions of dollars were put at risk. And I want that to sink in for a minute because I know there's a lot of financial institutions here and people interested in investment. And who is gonna put their uh, assets onto the blockchain if there's almost a 50% chance that it could be at risk? So while this is very exciting technology, there's still a lot of problems technically that need to be solved. And that's where Firmo comes in. At Firmo, we've developed a formally verified domain-specific language that enables decentralized derivatives to be executed and deployed on any major blockchain that supports smart contracts. What does that mean? So the first thing is formal verification. Our founder has roots in the Israeli military where he was helping to make sure that planes and satellites and trains could run securely with the right uh, mathematic programming logic. And we've applied those same ideals and principles to what we do with financial contracts. Firma Lang is also extremely intuitive. So you can look over here and see that if you're using Solidity, which is the programming language of Ethereum, it would take you about 92 lines of code to write a smart contract. That leaves room for a lot of different forms of expression and potential vulnerabilities. With Firma Lang, it's just 12 lines of code. You can use one of our templates to create your own derivative. And more than that, it's simple and easy for any developer to use and to learn. Right now, it's quite hard to find developers for Solidity who can come and help you to code for the blockchain. Firma Lang is also blockchain agnostic. So we've already launched uh, a product that can compile directly to EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine, but we could potentially work with any other blockchain that is using smart contracts. So far, we've gained strategic partnerships and investments from several major uh, players in this ecosystem and within the crypto economy, including Quantum, which is a big blockchain, as well as Bancor, which is an exchange. And we're looking towards other players as well. So obviously exchanges and OTCs are interesting, but Firma Lang could be applied to peer-to-peer -peer lending and prediction markets as well. And then of course, we're looking towards more institutional players who are coming from the traditional world, but we expect that that will take time. Our team is also decentralized, just like the blockchain. As Oliver mentioned, we have an office in Copenhagen, Berlin, and in Tel Aviv. We talked a lot this morning about the international perspective and we were born global, so we not only have people from all over the world, we've also taken in investors from all over the world. And we have a mix of serial entrepreneurs coming out of the uh, classic kind of startup space, as well as academics who have been part of building this since the beginning and building the blockchain. So I know a lot of us today are thinking a lot about the future and our angle is on finance and what we think we can do to make this world a better place. Uh, we believe that that's right and that we're moving towards a better future with the blockchain, but in order to see that future realized and become a reality, 
We need to make sure the infrastructure is there to mature the crypto economy. So thank you very much. I invite you to come and speak with me upstairs. I'll be waiting. Thank you.